In this lesson, we'll talk about how to use the FOIL method to multiply two binomials together. Now, the prefix by stands for two, so this will be two terms times two terms. And although we've already talked about how to use the distributive property to multiply two binomials together, this method will be kind of a shortcut or convenient way for us to keep up with the multiplication process. It's not really a shortcut, but it is kind of convenient to have names for the different terms in the problem. And especially when we start to talk about factoring, that naming convention will come in pretty handy. So the F in FOIL stands for first times first. And if we look at a binomial multiplication problem, the first times first refers to the first term in each set of parentheses. So X times X would be X squared. The O stands for outer times outer. And if we look at the same problem, the outer terms are the two terms that are on the outside. If you think of all four terms as being in a row, then these two are the outer ones. And I stands for inner times inner. And so these two are the inner ones, the 5 and the X. And L stands for last times last. And last means the last term in each set of parentheses. So first times first outer times outer, inner times inner, and last times last. It gives us four terms, and sometimes the middle terms can be combined, and sometimes they cannot, but this, this gives the same results as the distributive property that we talked about in the last lesson, and um, it's just an, a kind of a convenient way to refer to the different parts of the problem. But this is only for multiplication of a binomial times a binomial. You, you must use it on two terms times two terms. It doesn't work for any other form of problem. So we just need to do several examples together. Let's multiply these four together. All right. In our first example, we have 6x plus 3 times 5x plus 4. So clearly this is two terms times two terms, and we can use the FOIL method on it. So first times first is 6x times 5x, which is 30x to the second. Outer times outer is 6x times 4, which is 24x. Inner times inner is 3 times 5x, which is 15x and last times last is 3 times 4 which is 12. Now if you look at the two middle terms 24x plus 15x will make 39x so we'll write our final answer as 30x squared plus 39x plus 12. Okay on our second example we have 8x to the third times x to the second so that will make 8x to the fifth. Outer times outer will be 8x to the third times 5, which is 40x to the third. Inner times inner will be 3 times x squared, which is 3x squared. And last times last is 3 times 5, which is 15. Now, if you look at all four terms, we have x to the fifth, x to the third, x to the second, and a constant. So there are no terms to combine, and this is our final answer. On the next example, notice that the constant comes first and then the x, and that's different from the previous examples that we've seen. But that does not make any difference to how we approach the problem because this is still two terms times two terms, so it still has to be handled the same way. So first times first is 7 times 3, which is 21. Outer times outer is 7 times negative 5x, which is minus 35x. Inner times inner is 4x times 3, which is 12x. And last times last is 4x times minus 5x, which is minus 20x squared. Now, if we look at our two middle terms, we can combine them. So negative 35 plus 12 will make negative 23 and that's an x term, so negative 23x. So I have 21 minus 23x 
minus 20x squared. And this is acceptable, but it is kind of traditional, kind of standard for us that we put our highest power of x first and then the next power and then all the way down to the constant. In other words, we should have our powers of x in order from largest to smallest. And so I'll rearrange the terms and I'll put negative 20x squared first minus 23x plus 21. And the reason the 21 is plus is because the 21 is positive. So there should be a plus sign in front of it. Now, either answer is acceptable, but this answer is more standard. All right, on the last example, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Outer times outer says 2x times negative 10, so that's minus 20x. Inner times inner is minus 5 times 3x, so that's minus 15x. And last times last is negative 5 times negative 10, so that's plus 50. Our two middle terms can be combined. So negative 20x and negative 15x make negative 35x.